Hey y'all, it's been so long, but I'm back on YouTube. Alicia with Crafts of a Different Shade. Thanks for hanging with me. Hey, boo, hey, today we're going to make these DIY mini liquor bottle cards. So I'm going to do it in Canva. If you download the template, you're going to get links to how to make this. The template is like $2. It is just pretty cut and dry. We're going to start by opening up the 6x6 card. This is a link. Click it, allow it to open up in your browser. I'm going to use Microsoft Edge boom boom pow it opens up a six by six the five by seven i'm also going to open that it says it's a template go ahead use a template nobody else will be using yours but rename it and save it to your canva account let's go back to that six by six okay so this right here is the neck hole that you're going to cut i'm going to get into that and explain how that works but for right now this is going to be like a design exercise and then assembly. I'm going to show you all the project we're going to make. Let me just find it here real quick. And this is a simple, like I said, six by six card. She's going to be licking some Hennessy, a mini Hennessy bottle. And I explain how we got to that end product. So I'm going to um, actually, like I said, just kind of start designing right now. Usually we would start with clip art, but I know what I'm already doing. And um, I'm just going to search for a background. So Elements has all your design stuff that you need. In Canva, it's such a powerful tool. I recommend you get it. You can um, subscribe down below with my link if you don't already have an account. It's well worth it. So I'm going to use this black and white background. And then I'm going to go to Etsy. I like Etsy for clip art. I love to find new stuff there. Couldn't type, but hey, Google got my back. So we got to Etsy.com. And I was thinking I wanted it to look like I said of her licking the clip of the Hennessy bottle so of course I already done the design but I'm showing you how, how I got there my thought process a little bit so I searched Hennessy bottle clip art everything was kind of just coming up with the labels for the Hennessy bottle feel free to even jazz up your cards with these labels you know maybe do some personalization on the mini bottles but it wasn't given what I needed so I kept searching um, and this is really how it went when I first did the card so I couldn't find it, but you see all this other clip art. This clip art is really cool, and I'll show you how you can use some of this. Like that is really nice. You see how she's got her hand holding a glass of wine. So little things like that help to make the card kind of neat. But I'll show you how I chose clip art for other vari uh, variations of the cards that I made. All right, so I couldn't find it, so I went to trusty Google, who got my bag. Like I said, went back to Google, and I just kind of went to search in, like using keywords and figuring out what I was trying to say, hoping Google could understand understand me black girl hennessy you know bottle um clip art i saw this i was like oh that's kind of what i'm looking for but that's do say so you know it wasn't here when i clicked her i couldn't find the related images because this was a sticker but that's cute you know um and there's lots of ways y'all can get creative with these cards so please do um so i just searched like licking hennessy bottle and the boom founder all right so she's actually on etsy so I'm going to just go ahead. I bought her and she downloads to your computer, you know, when you buy an SE file. So um, let's go back to Canva. And um, also, well, before we go to Canva, let's go to Etsy. So I can show you guys, like, these are some cool, like, clip art ideas. So you see how she's holding the glass. Their arms are outstretched. I really like it when their arms are out because it kind of makes it look like they're holding the the liquor. And you know you want to give that appearance maybe you don't i don't know but i did that's what i wanted to do and that's what my goal was with these cards so um you know you can search fashion clip art there's so many different things here when you search fashion clip art and these dolls like right here you can see some of their hands are down i prefer like if their hands are a little higher not down below because you don't want to block the image either um the backs to you you know uh, we don't want children, obviously, but like the gentleman, you can get rid of his gifts. You see this lady here, like her hand is out. She's holding um, some fingernails, but that's just accessories. So you can just buy the dolls and not put those fingernails in her hand or whatever it is. I think, I think it's like fingernail swatches. All right, cool. So let's get back to Etsy. That's some ideas for you guys. Y'all can just go click the um, link below for this clip art or others um, in the description. So let's upload that file mine is already uploaded but if you upload yours it'll be at the front of your images like at the top but i'm gonna make her um come in she's like six by six so you see i made her really big so that's cool but the issue becomes a hennessy mini hennessy bottle is not six by six inches so i'm going to shrink her down some and i'm going to tell you what you need to do to make sure like this is this clip art that you're using 
gives that look of the people holding the bottle just because that's what I wanted. But you don't have to do that. I mean, you might want her to take up the whole page and you just put a Hennessy bottle on top of her face. I don't know. So first, I'm going to go ahead and get a square. So I'm going to um, go to elements. I'm going to search square. And if you see my mouse jumping around, it's just that I didn't have a mouse. I was using a trackpad. So sorry, guys. I just really wanted to get this video out to y'all. Um, so I can stay committed to my goals and committed to y'all so that we can have new content. And you can maybe start doing these for Valentine's Day, birthdays, anniversaries. The color could be multi-purpose girls just night just because, you know, thinking of you. Little things, congratulations, anything that you could think of. They're multi-purpose. It's not just for V-Day. But, um, all right. So Hennessy bottles are six by six. So I made, or excuse me, Hennessy bottles are three and a half in height. So what I did was I bought a rectangle in and I made it three and a half inches tall. And then I placed it in front where it looks like she would be holding it. So that's why you want to get, you want to measure the height of the bottle. So let's lock her in. Now you can put her wherever you want to put her on the card. Like I said, I just put her on the bottom. Let me unlock her. Look, she could go in the center. She could go down bottom. She could go on the right. She can go on the left. It's really up to you how you want to design your card. And if you want to make this design or buy it from me, you know, just let me know. But if you make it, you know, happy selling. I don't know. You could probably touch it up even more. Like I said, my design skills are kind of basic on this one because I was a little tired. All right. So I'm just going to put her back in the corner. Again, we've got that bottle that's like three and a half inches tall. This is the neck. So this is what you're going to cut out so that we have a flap to hold the liquor bottle. All right, since we're using Canva, we got to cut it manually. If we were using our Cricut, there's an SVG file. You could have Cricut or your silhouette cut it for you. Now, the thing with this is, let me go ahead and like ungroup this. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to place it where I intend for the neck of the bottle to be. So it pretty much should match up with that illustration, right? Even though in the illustration she's holding a like at regular size, you wanted to hold a mini. So I made that circle one inches wide because I measured the neck of most bottles and they're about an inch wide. Like Patron is different, Ciroc is different, but well, Ciroc is actually the same, but that one inch will allow us to have a hole for the neck to go through. So just make sure that filled circle is one inch wide. And then just um adjust that arch to be like to have some width over it. Um, I guess that's the best way to explain it. Hopefully you guys are following what I'm doing. You see me getting it like to an inch there. All right. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna kinda like lock all that down because that's how I want her to be set up. I'm gonna drag this background out, make it look how I want it to look. So you get a little design, you know, my the way my brain was thinking at two, three o'clock midnight. Um, and yeah, I like a lot of the black showing. I'm gonna go ahead and bring her forward. And then uh, I realized because of all the black, you're not really gonna see that. So I'm gonna change the color of the, where we need to cut, cause we definitely wanna be able to see that. Let's unlock it, that helps. All right, cool. Okay, so I'm gonna change that part too, as well. So now that will really pop when I print it. All right, so I'm gonna lock everything back down again just so it doesn't move. I want that to be stationary. I'm gonna add some text. I just seriously went to like the combinations that they already gave us because I was not trying to think too hard last night. Um, ungroup it. I just may say lick a time. And you know, if this is something you want to make, just make it guys like there's only but so many ways we can make something you know happy selling and if you want to buy this straight one from me just let me know where you don't have to design or i could fancy it up a little bit for you guys but um you know let's get this let's get this money or let's just have fun crafting even if you don't want to make money from it so i just made it say look at time and then it was kind of played around and changed the colors you know we don't have anything blue just to keep it cohesive and played around and um you know figure out what colors i wanted and very simple design here y'all and um i'm going to let's see go back and just take a look at that design that i made make sure it looks kind of similar to what i was making at two o'clock in the morning it does so that's good just wanted to make sure like it married up a little bit when i go to print it so you guys don't get too confused i'm going to add some effects on this liquor just because it's a little dull but one thing to note 
is you want to make sure like the words are not too close to the bottle because they will be hidden if the bottle is bigger or small, you know, if that bottle like touches over into the words. All right. And I'll show you guys some like the um, Casamigos one that I did. The bottle is so tall, it covered up the word so you just want to make sure you don't cover up like your clip art and the word so people can see your card and also see the liquor okay but that should be fine and i'm gonna go ahead and lock this down actually unlock it all right so i'm gonna actually unlock that again and just see you can move her but we're not going to do any of that Again, I'm sorry, guys. My mouse was jumping all around. It had a mind of its own because of the trackpad. But, yeah. I'm going to go ahead and make the words smaller just because I feel like they will be better for um, when I put the bottle on the card. Okay, cool. So, let's go back to this. Unlock it. And just make sure. You know, so now I got a little more white space between the bottle and the words. Cool. Cool. So that will help me. You got all this space on the left of the card where you guys got a note or something. So just have a good time with this. You know, make it how you want to make it or make it what your customers need so that you can, you know, step out and make some money or just have fun creating and giving things to people. I'm going to put a shadow on this liquor because it's not popping out enough for me. And that's pretty much the card. Now, if I was not sleepy, I would have done some more. Like, I just would have gone and got some elements. Maybe we add this gold. You know, this could be an idea for you. And um, you just kind of see me playing around here. So, I have fun. But you don't always have to do the most. You can keep it simple. And, again, like I said, the blank template is on the website. If you want something designed, message me. Or, um, you know, just email me. Please, you know, no, don't leave. I, I might not see a comment on YouTube. So, please email me. You'll have my contact information in the description. You'll have my con the um, links for things like the card stock, the supplies that I used. You'll have links for the template. And you'll have links for Canva. You'll have links to find the clip art all in the description. So, please definitely check there if you have any um, needs that you want to get from what I've demonstrated. And if you have questions, please do leave them in the comments and I'll do my best to get to them. But my email is there and I do need just about 24 hours to get back to you. All right, so just be patient with me as I'm a one person, but you can always come in our Facebook group and share or ask questions. So you see, I was just kind of playing around, but I'm just gonna go ahead and get rid of this. And you know, it looks a little different. I was just kind of playing. Um, and the, but I'm just going to get rid of everything because we're not going to do this version of the card since that's not what I'm printing. Um, and did what I did, that's not what I printed when I made the initial version, which is what I'm going to do in the assembly part of this video. But lots of stuff you guys could do. Lots of stuff I could have done if I was not exhausted and I, I'm not home right now. So I can't do another print to show you i just wanted to make sure i got this video out to y'all so y'all could um, make something if you need to see a print and cut video if you want to see me do it again if you got anything like that drop the comments below and just let me know or put let me know in the group dm me on instagram or something and i'll do my best to help and i can make another video as well all right so everything's straight looks good let me show you how why i'm talking about with the hand so you see this lady i just like her dress so i found that but if you take like you see how her hand is facing down if we had that rectangle we measured four inches or the three and a half inches of the bottle the height that's too low like the bottle is going to hang off the page so what i need to do is i need to make her bigger and depending on what bottle you're using, that means that you have to move this cut around. because, And that will tell you where you need to put your clip art. Because you don't want to have the bottle hanging off. You don't want to have the, you know, the paper weighing down. So that's why you can move this little piece around. All right. So, like, if she was there or a little higher, I usually put it a little higher if I'm doing, like, a Casamigos or something with a long neck. All right. You don't want it to run off the page. Yeah, I'll definitely show you guys some other options because I think seeing the other bottles helps. The only one that is a little different would be Patron because it's so, like, short and fat. All right, let's just get back to where we were. Cool. Get everything undo. Bye, girl. Okay. 
So you got your part. You want to go to share because we're done. Download. And you want to do it as a PDF print. I'm just going to download that. And it's going to download. I'm on a PC, so it goes to my download folder. If you're on a Mac, it might be a little different. And we'll just download it. And we're going to open it. When we open the file, we want to print at actual size. We don't want to print it the way it's going to look on the um, PDF. And it's going to be in an 8.5 by 11. So if I print it from right here, when it opened in the browser, it's going to come out printed at the wrong size, most likely. So I'm just going to open the PDF, file print. It went to actual size so that's good but just i like to click it just in case okay choose your printer and print at whatever quality you know da, 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 things you like to do there and it looks good this is a six by six card on an eight and a half by eleven piece of paper you see if i had different things the card is going to come out bigger and print it and it was time to get into the assembly so i hope that helped again let me know if you guys have any questions um throughout the week i'll be able to answer them or i can make some more videos and also show you a video on print and cut so you don't have to do things by hand in case you have a cutting machine like i do like a cricket a silhouette or a brother because in the template if you buy it for like two dollars on the website there's a photoshop publisher svg and then you have the campbell link so it's pretty basic because it's up to you to make your design and um you know it's up to you what liquor you make so there's no mock-up but it's up to you what liquor you include all right so let's print it here we go print on my epson i'll link that below i got an exacto knife boom i'm just gonna cut that out get a sharp one cut it out don't do what i did when i um just ripped the paper instead of like cutting it pre precisely because i got frustrated and it was late but i can't keep saying it was late because that's my fault for staying awake all right so yeah don't just rip the paper just cut it nicely because you get raw edges and it doesn't look cute but for the purpose of these videos sometimes stuff might be janky but i'm just trying to teach you show you and you know don't do like i did do better than i did so hopefully that helps to make things make sense but this is the neck hole where the liquor is going to go and we're just going to get in there with a Zacto knife or a true control knife and cut this out. All right. So it comes this flap that you get there. So we're going to put the liquor bottle in here. You see, this was a card that I made. This Cricut cut this one. So this one's a little more precise. But we're going to use some foam squares to prop the bottle up because it's so heavy on this like Michael's card stock that it buckles. You can see the paper kind of like folding a little bit or like rolling up i guess so i'm going to use foam tape to prop the bottle up so that gives some support to the bottle use some um re like don't use permanent if you can find non-permanent foam tape because once they rip, take the liquor up it will rip but i'm just going to pull out my um swing line cutter guillotine cutter i'm gonna cut this six by six cut the car out you know that eight and a half by eleven sheet boom got that it's cute 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 get the um, foam tape and oh but before I foam tape I'm gonna put a backing even for more support on the card because I don't want that paper to buckle and I want it to be able to hold up the liquor get your tape gun glue whatever here's a tip and trick do not just do not I don't know why I did this put the tape on the actual print not on the backing okay so yeah anyways sometimes you just do stuff You're like why did you do that I don't know so We've got our flap. It's kind of folded in. I'm going to pull it out. I'm going to put that Hennessy bottle back in there facing up. Grab that foam tape. And I'm going to give it some support like I mentioned. And I'm going to put it on the back of the Hennessy bottle. Right there in the middle. And I'm going to put it back in. Good. So it went right back into the um, cut that we made. And it's sticking up. Looks good. And it going to put one on the bottom as well just to give a little bit more support it's like i was saying if your foam tape is permanent it may rip the paper when they go to take the liquor so just be mindful of that um and then if you feel you know still bending just kind of roll that paper so it stops bending a bit but yeah it's cute so here's some additional ones i hope y'all enjoyed it please like and subscribe go to my instagram you'll see a more video um a video with more of the designs and i really appreciate you guys y'all have a great day and the tip is available for sale